Welcome to Lost Inwood Panoramas, where in each episode we'll take a close look at an historic North Manhattan panoramic image. Hiya! Today we'll be looking at a 1906 Edward Wenzel image that pictures North Manhattan's Dykeman Valley shortly before the arrival of the city. Taken from a hillside west of Payson Avenue and between 204th Street and Academy Street, it's an image of Inwood in transition. Roads in the area are being graded, bridges erected, and mass transit is beginning to snake its way northward across the flats. Farms were disappearing. The city was on its way. On the map, we can see the photographer's vantage point, looking east from Inwood Hill across the Dykeman Valley and toward the Bronx in the distance. Before we look at the details, let's get ourselves oriented with the street grid as seen in the photo. That rough, muddy-looking carriage path in the foreground is Prescott Avenue, Payson Avenue today. Broadway is the main road at the center of the image, and 204th Street is the main cross street we see. At the corner of Broadway and 204th is the Dykeman Farmhouse, today a museum, national landmark, and neighborhood anchor. Cooper Street is just being graded. Here we can only see the block north of 204th Street, and Seaman Avenue can be spotted barely visible behind the remains of a hillside orchard. In the distance is yet another street in progress, Sherman Avenue. The evenly spaced trees in the foreground are remains of the Dykeman family orchard. In the 1890s, there were still about 75 living fruit trees here. Archaeologists at that time were greatly interested in this part of the neighborhood because buried beneath this orchard were found the remains of over 60 Revolutionary War military huts where British and Hessian soldiers lived between 1776 and 1783. And just down the hill from this military site, between Seaman and Cooper, in a place called Corbett's Garden, numerous remains of oyster shells, arrowheads, pottery, fire pits, and human burials indicated that many generations of Lenape people had lived on the site. Let's zoom in now and take a closer look. We'll start at the corner of 204th and Cooper Street, where we see a new private home has been erected. Half a block away is Inwood's oldest structure, the Dykeman Farmhouse. It won't be renovated for another 10 years and is looking worn after five decades of use as a boarding house. 207th Street is tough to spot, but Fordham Road in the Bronx looks ready to cross over into Manhattan. What's not ready is the University Heights Bridge. Though it looks like the span is in place, the bridge won't open until 1908. Winding their way through Inwood are the newly constructed elevated IRT subway tracks. The Inwood stations opened in March of 1906. On the horizon is the north campus of NYU and its colonnade of distinguished Americans. Completed in 1900, it's now the campus of the Bronx Community College. Way out beyond Sherman Avenue, between Academy and 207th Street, we can see a hillside that's been blasted away to create 204th Street. Made of inwood marble, the hill was eventually leveled to make way for new apartment buildings. One piece of it at 204th and Post survived for several decades. In the foreground now, we're getting a closer look at the Corbett Garden property, where evidence of the old Lenape population was uncovered in 1907. We'll talk more about that in part two of this video. And finally, just coming into view at the right is a building that's a survivor, the frame house at 159 Sherman. Like the Darkman farmhouse, it has managed to survive into the 21st century, currently as a small evangelical church in the shadow of a huge new charter school. And with that, we're going to wrap up part one of this video. In part two, we'll learn more about the 1907 Lenape excavations at Corbett's Garden. And in part three, We'll tackle the excavations at the Revolutionary War hut camp on the Dykeman Farm, which peaked in 1912 to 1915. See you later, and thanks for watching. <laughs>